See, there's town. the hill. See, there's town. Welcome, welcome, welcome back to this live stream project from the Junk Man's Adventures. All right, this is part two of this uh, radio controlled truck customization project. And uh, oh, I forgot to uh, put the little model down for those of you that didn't watch part one. Go back and watch that. However, um, I'll show you right here. What we're doing is we're modifying this uh, little RC car to look something like uh, this model here. I built actually a couple of years ago now. Uh, I have a whole video on this build and how I did it, how, how I weathered it and everything. And, um, and actually uh, now what we're doing is uh, I have a 1 16th scale RC truck here that was actually uh, <clears throat> sent to me by a friend of mine uh, to customize to look like this model that I uh, built. And, uh, and then it's, uh, it's for a friend. It's, uh, it's uh, replicating uh, a real vehicle that uh, we had in real life or that he had in real life. And, of course, we rode around in it and everything. And um, what, uh, if you didn't catch last stream, which you can go back and watch the archives, I wish you would. It helps the channel and everything watch time, all that good stuff, helps the algorithm, uh, push this out to more people. So if you like what I do, make sure you're telling everybody, watching it and whatnot. So what we have here, obviously, is we've done some uh, heavy weathering on it uh, to get the hood and kind of roof rusty. And then, uh, you know, have kind of a crummy paint job on the side, crummy two-tone paint job, which is um, how the, kind of how the re real truck looked. Uh, keen viewers will, um, also notice that uh, 
this model is uh, is a you know a Nissan or a Datsun 720 or a Nissan hard body sometimes known as uh, this the real uh, pickup was an amalgamation of a lot of different parts from the various uh, small Nissan little pickup truck uh, so it wasn't you know the basis I think it was an 85 but it had um, uh, it, I think it had an 86 or 87 bed on it because it had been rolled a couple times doors and stuff so you know it's an amalgamation now in viewers will notice that this is more of a Toyota body style I mean it's not exactly a Toyota but it's not exactly looks close enough so you know they didn't make the exact thing so uh, <clears throat> we have to approximate it here and we have this go going pretty good uh, we got a lot of weathering in we got a lot of weathering in the bed and everything uh, I have some accessories we're going to do some more uh, that kind of weathering first off I'm going to get started here uh, I'm going to wear me some gloves put some gloves on here because um, I uh, <clears throat> going to uh, use a uh, well or I'm going to attempt uh, uh, to um, let me move some of this out of the way so you guys can see what's going on a little better uh, down here in the in the tight shot here. Um, I have uh, some jewelry chain here, and uh, speaking of which, uh, I need to uh, cut the end off. But we're going to make a little toe chain, but you know it's all nice and shiny, brand new. Um, I forget this isn't a you know like a silver plated or anything forget what it is so I'm gonna try a technique that I've um, uh, that I've done uh, with some die cast cars to kind of add some rust to quickly rust something like this we'll see if it works on this I'm not 100 for sure 100% uh, sure it's going to work um, I need to go get actually some snips cut, cut a couple of the links off here uh, but we're gonna use um, I got my gloves on here, and uh, oh, thanks, uh, Skull Fifty Two EX. Uh, he's joined the chat, so if you're watching the chat re replay, uh, he's the uh, he's the YouTuber um, that sent me this um, to customize, and then it's my job to then send it on to its intended recipient. Um, it's kind of a surprise; he doesn't know about it. Um, uh, even though I'm live streaming it, he's not tech savvy like that. This, so uh, he probably won't notice this. I need to step off camera here in a minute and get uh, my pliers. So I cut this up a little bit. Uh, all right, because <clears throat> I don't I don't need it this long, but I do want to leave the little the little hook on there. So I don't know. Well, because I'm gonna have to glue it down in the bed because I don't want it. You know, flopping all over the place. So I don't know that. Something like that should look pretty good. Yeah, something like that, and then I can keep that for another project. I will toss that that way. Okay. So we'll see if this uh, this works. Okay. What I'm going to use here is a, a, a product called uh, Ferric. It's Ferric. Uh, chloride used for etching uh, printed circuit boards and uh, it's not good for your skin obviously but it's a great um, uh, God dang. I haven't used it in a while hopefully I can get the cap off shoot it's, maybe it's no good I don't know I haven't been used it in about a year I see it's kind of well maybe Got the child proof thing, which is good. Also means I can't get it off. Um, I'd have to cut this lid off. Oh, we might not be doing this this time until I can get the lid off. Oh, there it goes. Alrighty. Alright. <clears throat> and I just need to submerge it, and uh, I'll know in a minute if it's going to do anything or not with this. Works great on, uh, you know, let's see. Oh, yep, it's bubbling a little, so that's going to take a while, I think. Uh, works great on die cast to kind of create a rust effect. 
Uh, we'll set that up to the side there. And I will take these gloves off. Don't accidentally touch my clothes. Crash, and then I'll put a new uh, set of gloves on um, uh, when I to take it out. Oh yeah, working, working real quick actually. So I will get a new pair of gloves on. One glove at least. Yeah, that's working pretty good. I'll have to get my tweezers to get that out of there. I didn't think. I I don't always. Uh, I sometimes forget to set some of this stuff up at a time. I don't want to leave it in there too long because it will. Yeah, it will. Uh, dis it would it, leave it in here long enough. I mean, like overnight, it would probably dis more or less dissolve. Yeah, um, well, might leave it in there a little longer. But uh, yeah, you can already see that tarnished it. Uh, we're, we'll do we'll do some I'll do some other treatments on it, but well, but it can stay in there a little bit longer. That off to the side. Tweezers on here. I don't want to wreck those. Stainless, but um, okay. There that goes into the trash. Okay, well, that's set just a bit. The other thing is I have here is uh, I have some styrene rod or tubing, I guess, to make a bumper, a tubular bumper. Even though the original model came with this bumper it looks nice and all but um not entirely accurate so we're gonna we're gonna build a bumper here too um <clears throat> that's something else we'll do um i'll set i'll set this out here you guys will be able to see it um we'll take it out i can also douse it again I feel like it needs do it, but I already, already, I already like what it's uh, looks like. Okay, yeah, did a nice brownish color. That almost looks a little bit like copper, which probably because it stripped the plating off down to the copper plating. But if I wanted to rust it some more, I could do an overnight with hydrogen peroxide or something. So well, that looks pretty good. It sits. So I'll just let that kind of just hang out there and dry out. That'll look that'll look pretty good. We'll coil that up in the coil it up in the back end and um in the back of the pickup and uh, look like uh, uh, look like a real tow ch chain that has uh, been uh, been rusted. Uh, <laughs> uh, oh yeah, you didn't realize it was a two-tone truck. Uh, well, <clears throat> you know. Uh, actually, Chris, I don't think the original truck paint job was two toned. I think, um, I think the guy before him had it rattle canned it, and it might have been the black falling off uh, the original paint. So it was originally a, a tan colored truck, which you know these came in a tan. And um, but I don't know. Um, you know, I remember it being kind of, kind of being almost multicolored a little so that's what I've kind of tried to replicate here um, uh, but the I just remember the hood was um the paint was basically gone and same with the roof was basically gone um, on that so anyway uh, another thing and I'll keep this glove on um, well I'll get, I'll get the other glove on here because I am going to get some paints out so I will want that. And then I got my respirator and everything. So, 
Uh, the other thing I have here, and I just, I cheap, or I, I, I don't know if I say cheaped out, but I wimped out, because normally I would, ma I would scratch build something like this. Um, but I went, went kind of the uh, hobby store and I got, got some, they're almost more, they're little, uh, see those here, little, little, you know, soda cans, pop cans. Um, I need to really paint them green as Mountain Dew, but I'm just probably going to leave them like that. Um, they can pretend they're cherry Coke cans because that was uh, one of the drink of choice among Mountain Dew. Uh, these are kind of like uh, more doll, like these are more dollhouse furniture size, which is just slightly, it's one twelfth versus one sixteenth, so they should be a little smaller. But you know, laying them in the back of the pickup, um, you're, you'll get the idea. Uh, I'll probably make some soda box uh, the the boxes um, off um, uh, off camera and such. But we'll um, well that's drying out. Um, I think what I want to do is I think we'll place some of these. I got some got some glue. We're also gonna I'm I'm gonna eventually set this all in with with a uh, um, a flat clear that will uh, you know tone that'll tone it down, make it um, look a little better, and um, I probably will put even some real uh, real dirt in it. But uh, want to kind of some super glue here. We'll just kind of glue these cans in random places here. Uh, we'll definitely have one in the have one in the cab when we get there. But uh, we'll see. <clears throat> Set those in there in different random arrays. I'm going to probably do another, another bit of a, a, a kind of an oil wash on it too. That'll help help land all this in. I think the guy, uh, the guy that kind of building this for, he's gonna laugh his laugh his butt off when he see <laughs> sees it. I think. <laughs> uh, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe and um, you know like this video. Helps me out always. Tear it around. Okay, I guess I only have one left, and we're gonna. I'll I'll also tear up some rags and stuff uh to uh now well, let's put it in the seat. It's easily seen. Seat. I'll have one riding right along there in in there with him. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to airbrush those. They look too too pretty. Um, actually, what I should do? If I can crush one, I didn't think about that. You know what? That one's not glued yet. Get a hammer. Let's crush one. <coughs> uh. I gotta do it on the floor here. I don't wanna. Yeah, okay. I like, yeah, that. Okay, 
and we'll toss some dirt and other things on there. Um, and doing. Actually, I know what I need to do. Just, I think I'll just drag it through some dirt real quick. Got to go off camera to do this, but I'll be right back. All right, perfect, 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 perfect. Okay, I think I think we'll put it in that corner there. Oh, this is gonna. Oh, this is gonna be great. Okay, need some glue down in there. It's gonna, gonna sort of live in that corner over there. Hopefully. What I just realized that the battery compartment's there. Better make sure I can still get to it. Hopefully. I just realized maybe I <laughs> wasn't thinking. Hope I didn't. Uh, well, like, yeah, I did. <laughs> I did with that one. Okay, well, we, we can move it out of the road there. Have to, it'll have to go there. Oh, there we go. Okay. There we go. Okay. Yeah, kind of forgot we had <laughs> got to put the battery in there, so I'll have to let that kind of uh, dry there. Got this can. Uh, smash it too. Ooh. Smash there. Yeah, make sure the battery compartment flipped up. And it'll also give it a little bit of chain. All right, that's uh, going to look pretty, pretty snazzy there. I got the battery compartment open there, but that's what it, there, that's what it'll look like. Well, uh, what we'll do is, uh, well, before that, let me get the bumper built. So we got this, and we'll try to build the bumper. So I need the front of the pickup there. Um, <clears throat> that. Okay. Cut this at, at a forty five degree angle here. Let's 
snap there. See that need. Oops, we need to see like that. Work for that. And and we just need what? See a little that much, and that much. All right, gotta get my other glue out. That off to the side, that over there. So you can sort of see what I'm doing here. We're gonna Use this, I like to use this glue to just get it sort of tacked in place. And I'll use <coughs> regular. Regular, like super glue will, and really I should get my bacon soda out. That'll, would help do the finisher off. But this kind of glue kind of melts the, it has a property, it kind of melts the styrene together. Back and it's a little bit more on it. That. Then we'll paint this black and that'll kind of get it, uh, get it in the same, uh, same uh, color and then the little trick is use a little bit of baking soda will uh, strengthen the joint, kind of also fills it too. So, hey, well, that's some of that kind of set before we do anything else. I guess I can set up for, set up for a little bit of, I'm going to have to do it in my uh, booth here, but I'll uh, set up for a little bit of um, dusting. And uh, let's see this. I'll use this dark tan, or let's see, what did I have here? It's khaki color. Get what these look like. I don't like, I don't want, yeah, that one, so. Just, um. Gotta get my airbrush set up here a little bit. Okay. 
about right there. You can see a bit of thinner in there. Take that up. Bit more. I want this paint really thin because I just want to again do a real real light dusting as always. Don't forget to join in the chat if you're watching and uh, just heckle me or whatever. Tell me everything I'm doing wrong. All right, <clears throat> let's get a uh, section on here. <coughs> and I know you can still kind of hear me. And let's get both started up here. Oh. And uh, let's uh, do a little dusting. I'm also going to do the windshield a little bit too, so. Just trying to trying to tone everything down just a little bit. Okay, that'll just tone. And I don't know, you might not be able to see it on camera, but we got it kind of tones it down in there. Uh, makes them look a little less shiny. Kind of what we want. The chain is nice and nice and taken care of there. All right. Okay, I really like that. Do a little bit uh, there go. Definitely mean more dust in this interior, so we're gonna. The, do the back part of the dash here.
Yeah, there we go. That kind of dirties that up. And I guess I better d dirty the bumper up here. I didn't do much of this because some of it's going to be covered up with our, with our bumper here. So it doesn't really need to be super, super duper. All right. There, and that looks really good. Uh, okay. Our bumper looking. Bad. Bad. Got more glue there. <coughs> That's just gonna be look for looks. That'll probably bust off of there anyway. So I don't know. Maybe. Really not liking how that's going to be. I got to thinking, it's going to be hitting stuff. I might want to put the regular bumper back on. So, what we should do here is take care of it with some... Yeah, maybe we'll just do that. It's a heck of a lot easier. I'm not really liking that. Hit that. We'll even hit it with a little bit of. Well, this is all drying. We'll hit it with a little bit of rust. Yeah, I'm, more and more I'm thinking. Yeah, that's not going to be very. I mean, for a model, that's going to work, but it. This is going to run into stuff, so. And we're going to. Kind of run this up. Rub it up with some. I dirtied it up. We're going to rust it up. And that's just how it's going to be. Yeah, we're just going to need to do it that way. Okay, and that'll be good. Okay, let's see. <clears throat> well, now let's take this off. And actually, I should have taken the tape off now that I now that I know that I'm not going to screw with the bumper. I mean, sure, it looked kind of good on there, but now we need to <clears throat> need to dust or dirty those up. Uh, the grill and or the headlights here. I don't think I'm going to cut the grill out either because that might just sort of ruin the ruin the looks. All right, let's see how that's going to. Oh yeah, there we go. Perfecto. Perfecto. Okay. Hmm. I think. Uh, okay, I really like that. Now, what do you what do you guys think out there? Leave me in the comments there. Look good enough, you know. Not gonna beat again. Like I said, I'm not gonna replicate the dents and all that kind of stuff. So we're in pretty good shape there. Um, like what I got going on back here. I might want to. I don't want to put some. I think. 
Yep, I, I'm going to do it. Okay, I'm going to have to go off the camera here, but we're going to gonna put a little glue in here, and then we're going to dump a little in the dump a little dirt in the corners to really uh, take care of that. <coughs> Okay, yeah, that looks a lot better, so. <clears throat> Gonna shake that, I just went outside and got a little bit of real dirt so uh and then like I said I'll we're gonna shoot with some clear here some uh flat clear and that'll set a lot of this in Yeah, I think think he's gonna like it. I think so. Heck, I'm really liking it. Yeah, that. <coughs> okay. Dump the excess out. There we go. How looking a lot better, I think. <coughs> looking a lot better there. Yeah. There we go. That's that's the way it needs to be. Okay. Now, okay, that's that bumper bumper is going to see how that looks on there. Put it back on. Because, yeah, this is going to get rammed into things, so better just use this nice stock bumper. They, um, got it, you know, it's going to be pretty durable, so let's see, a little bit of that on there. Let's use a bit of silver here, gunmetal. Across there. All right. Yeah, it looks pretty good. All right. Okay, we got that done. We got that. And kind of get an idea. Get an idea what that'll look like. I'll set it right there. There's the back of the pickup. Interior. Let's see. Yeah, you know, that'll look pretty good for that. So really, the next thing, next thing that needs to happen is need to um, windshield. Windshield looks too pretty. Um, I was going to like mud it up, but I think I'm just going to dust it up. Um, cause I, I didn't really, I don't want to, uh, make it so you totally can't see the, uh, the interior since we, uh, added a little, little bit of detail to it. So, um, I'm just gonna really, whoop, a little dust, just a little dust. Uh, 
and kind of make the wind I, if I can do it right make the windshield wiper yeah or actually there's only one worked on the driver's side I that I know you can't see exactly what I'm doing because I got to do it over here yeah there we go driver's side can be sort of clear Passenger be muddied up, man. I'm gonna make it to high contrast. Uh, okay, I'll just rub while it's still sort of dry. Yeah, let's see how that looks here. Tell you the truth, it looks looks a little too nice. <laughs> there we go. There's a big contrast now. Yeah, because if you see the little intro video, you know only one, only the only one wiper worked the drivers, of course. Which that's really the only one that's important because uh, it's the only one it needs to see, right? Okay. Now well, there, that uh, that um, that pretty much takes care of that, and you'll still be able to see the interior there. Okay, so. Let's see, I think we're ready. Well, I need to do the wheels. <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> I want to do, while I'm doing this, I want to hit, hit this with the... Um, with a little bit of oh, there's my brush that a little bit more of this oil wash here especially on the chain places then it'll look oily and wet and add a little bit maybe should I should maybe hit wipe it off and of detail those up a little paper towel here Of these little, a little bit more contrast actually. The dirtier, the better, kind of. Yeah. 
Yeah, there we go. I really make some of that stand out. There. Because really this dash is pretty detailed considering how inexpensive this is. Alright. That will be good. That will be good for that. That just brings those out a little bit. Okay, now the next thing. Let's see, I guess I better clean my airbrush a little bit. I'm gonna... We gotta uh, do the wheels, and then we're um, <laughs> we're about ready to hit um, uh, put it back together. Really? Oh, I guess I I need to uh, do the mirrors and stuff and the door handle. I didn't put them on because I wasn't quite sure how I wanted to finish those. Cleaning airbrush is something I dislike. I should get a little cleaning station. Actually, I should get a better, should invest in a, well, I, I actually like this airbrush for doing this because it, it, it adds the imperfections for me. If I wanted to really shoot great, um, shoot really good uh, detail work, I'd need a better airbrush. This one just doesn't have the control, but um, <clears throat> this is a siphon feed. I'd rather have a gravity feed for obvious reasons. Cups on top, it's out of the way. Which would be a big help. Okay. And then it's just, it is a little, little easier to, um, it is a little easier to clean because of that. Well, this one I've had for, I don't know, five, six years, and, uh, Use the heck out of it, and really, I've been pretty satisfied with it. It was a, I don't know, it's a $10 Harbor Freight, so, you know, I've got my money's worth out of it, I guess. Okay. That is clean, so we're ready ready to move on to uh, the next next thing okay Take care of that all right next thing here well I better take my gloves off because I want to screw those up okay now I'm gonna have to um let's see these I don't know the tires I, I hope I don't I hope they just come off kind of eat oh they do okay I'll just have to mask around. Yeah, there we go. Good deal. Hoping they weren't like glued on or something. Now, <coughs> with the tires, yeah, to be completely authentic, I really would need to, um, uh, you know, sand them, shave them down so they're bald. Because um, uh, he never had good tires on this pickup. So, um, 
and I'm gonna use a different tape because I don't want to use my good stuff just for this. Um, yeah, they were basically bald, and actually they were so bald that um, we start having flats. Um, we put, uh, well, actually, let's do this. And start putting the patches on the outside of the tires. So <laughs> that's um, that's kind of how, that's kind of how, how we rolled, you know. And I have an uh, I have an alu aluminum colored paint, which is what I'm going to use uh, for this. But then we're gonna do a have we're gonna do a wash and dirty them up because they were you know they never looked they were an aftermarket rim they weren't stock they were a I believe they were an Amer uh, an American racing something or other uh, American racing brand I don't remember the you know the the model or or whatever exact model of a rim but like i said they were uh because uh they were ever 15s and then it had it had close to the same uh tire size here these probably are to replicate i don't say on there probably something like 35 inch tires he had um like uh something that would have that was about a thirty, about a thirty-three, I think, on there, which is pretty big for you know, something that only has a little, uh, about a little hundred horsepower uh, um, four-cylinder uh, motor in it. But with the uh, within four or low, you know, it, it would pull them, um, and it got great mileage on the highway. You just couldn't get up, you know, you weren't going to win any drag races to sixty mile an hour, but. Um, uh that's uh that's just how kind of how it was all right <clears throat> gotta get the <sighs> i can't decide to dirty up the undercarriage or not i well what do you what do you think chris should i should I dirty up the the differential and all that? Go go that far, or or um or kind of leave it at just the body and and the wheels? I mean, yeah, you see it, but not not that much. Um, just uh, I I guess you know what? Um, I'll kind of let you kind of let you decide that level of a detail we're gonna put on it, because I could totally like. I could go hog wild and I can make it look like the U joints are uh, rusty and and uh, the grease is spewing out of them and all that. I mean, I can, I can, I can do that. <laughs> I can go that far. I did. You know, you can't even see the underside because I mounted it to that base of the model. But if you you know study and use a little mirror and like a dentist mirror and look under there, you can you can see it. So I'll let you I'll let you decide in the chat if I'm gonna go that far with the uh, undercarriage. Otherwise, I'm trying to trying to tape it up enough so I don't have to worry about it. I'll let you let you decide while I'm spray while I'm uh, while I'm spraying the rims here. That out of the way. Move that there. We gotta do get our safety gear on. And I'm going to hit it with this uh, aluminum color, and then of course it'll get hit with uh, a flat clear. Oh, and that's great. Oh, okay. so I thought this was—it's crappy Walmart paint. Well, you only see it if he flips it. Well, that's probably going to happen a lot. So, so you're basically saying I should then, right? 
That's okay. Yeah, I won't. I. Yeah, I won't. I won't mess with it. That's. I guess I should have primed these, but. All right. Okay, let's speed this up, get the old hair, hair dryer out. You know, maybe what I'll do with the undercarriage is maybe just the front and back of the differentials. I'll just kind of lightly dirty up, maybe put a little rust, just, just so it doesn't look too nice under there. But that's about all I'll do. Okay, got that. Let's see how that looks here. Nail needs hit her with one more coat here, I guess. Go good there, and I think do hit it, hit it with this, and I'll hit a wash over it. So. Okay, color, a little lighter color here. Dirty, and we'll hit. Okay, and then what we can do here, 
Okay. That kind of dusts them up there. But they still look a little too shiny. Of course, I got to hit the hit the uh, hit everything with clear. But what we'll do is um, oil wash. You've been doing. Um, I'll uh, one side of there. Lug nuts. This will get all in the little, all the little cracks and crevices. Uh, gives it gives it a little bit of depth, and uh, and uh, kind of dries a little bit opaque. That uh, helps it uh, look a little more realistic. I guess I got to do it from this angle, and then I'll show you guys later. But it'll highlight all those little details. It also knocks down the uh, brightness of it. Go and. Soak up just a little bit of it there. Yeah, there we go. Kind of knocks down the. There's what it looks like before. There's the after, and then when it dries, it'll 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 kind of even lighten up a little bit, and just uh, leave it only on the edges of uh, things here. So. And with the black tires, you'll it'll really really bring out the details, and you'll really. Um, Sort of see what's going on on it. And looks like, you know, got some leaky hubs or something here, and it wasn't uncommon. This pickup, obviously. Well, I kind of like weather and stuff because you don't have to be. super precise with it and you know the mistake the mistakes act or well nobody knows what what mistake what if there is any mistakes really that's the beauty of it bob ross happy little accidents um turn into a really good looking product so all right <clears throat> well let's uh dry this off here Take that off and yeah, I'll, yeah. I think just because you can see the differentials, I'll just hit the front and backs a little bit. Help it, uh, help it sort of blend in because of you know the frame and everything else is a nice, the kind of a bright flat black, and don't want to. No. <clears throat> no, I don't want your eye to be drawn to the gases too much, and you want to look, make it look like it, like the real thing. And I could even dirty the dirty the tires up, which might be something we might want to take a look at doing. Let's tuck 
put the LED way there. Yeah, let's just, I know what I'll do. I'll just, just do a quick, quick spritz and mist here. This, I normally, I should use the airbrush, but we're going to cheat here. Especially that uh, front track link there. I don't want that to look too good. Just hit the back end there a little bit. Of course, that one just darn my Yep, okay, can't use that one. All right, we'll use this darker color. Okay. Yeah, that kind of needed that. Dry it off. And, uh... Okay. Well, I... Looks pretty good to me. Put a put a tire back. Let's put a tire back on. We'll see. <clears throat> see. Oh yeah, that definitely definitely needed that. There you go. Definitely needed that. That um, definitely made it um, look more uh, more authentic there. <clears throat> and same with the differential and stuff. Like I said, I just literally hit it to make it look a little dirty. Because, um, you know, well, uh, well, I expect him to, you know, actually use it and whatnot. Uh, it's going to, you know, be a little display piece too. So I want it to look like it's uh, had its share of battle scars uh, while it's sitting on the shelf, you know. It's tires on there a little bit. Yeah, I'll just leave them black, I guess, without... I could, I could dust them up a little bit, but... Um, yeah, I think we'll leave them alone. This was, uh, if this was going to be, if I knew this was going to be more of a shelf sitter, uh, I probably would do that, because then it wouldn't look uh, so pristine. But, um, you know, he's going to use it, and that'll, and the just the natural wear and tear of the dirt and everything will, uh, will uh, help uh, cement the deal there. Well, let's see. I got mirrors and stuff to do, but you know what? I'm so far along here. I think we'll just uh, we'll call her a we'll call her a live stream, and we'll get back to it uh, another night. May uh, probably not tomorrow night, but we'll uh, we'll get back to it. So um, so you can definitely want to see the uh, finished product. I guess I can we can yeah. There it is. Uh, yeah, that, um, there's how the front end will look, sort of. The uh, back end's a little dirty, too. But we could, um, we could cheat it, kind of. 
Maybe I, well, I gotta put the interior in, I guess. And I could, uh, well, cheat it and get a get an eye, get an idea what it what this could look like. Yeah, I think this is a good little uh, good little paint job. Again, like I said, I got to get my gloss clear. Oh, that oh dang wheel. Okay. Yeah, how about that? Um, you know, grill looks something like that. There. Yep. Well, anyway, I, I guess um, <laughs> what do you, I guess. I mean, it's not bolted down or nothing, but what do you think? I think I like how it looks. It definitely looks like uh, it's like it's had a had a rough life, you know. Tires look too new, but uh, let's take a look at it from your guys' view there. Yeah, I kind of I like that. Uh, looks pretty good. Um, that, Set the set the other one next to it there. I mean, obviously it's it's you know slightly slightly different model there, but um, you know that uh, I think it uh, I think it get, uh, translates well. Translates uh, we're going what uh, what the effect we're going for here. So um, yeah. Anyway, uh, <laughs> this is pretty fun. This was a this is a fun one. Um, well, anyway, you know, of course, like the live stream, like the channel, subscribe, and uh, tell your friends. Uh, we're going to be back to finish this up, putting it back together. Like I said, got to put some clear on it, uh, some matte clear uh, to sort of protect this. Some of the weathering uh, needs needs some protection, and uh, and then we can uh, call it done, box it up, and give you um, give you a little tour and. Uh, I don't know. Uh, I'll, I'll let uh, I'll let Chris decide if uh, if I can uh, run it and test it out, or if we just ship it off and uh, and and uh, let him uh, be the first one to run it. But uh, all right. Well, uh, thank you very much for watching, and uh, we'll see you in the next uh, next uh, build video. Uh, thanks for watching.